Hey Cordell, how do you feel? How do you feel? I feel good, you know, being a white hand. It's my high school color, so I feel great. Now, can you talk about that whole bow tie story that you were uh, reluctant to uh, weigh in on earlier? Uh, I have a story behind it, you know, but I, my stylist sent me a text, a text message about it, but I couldn't read it because I was in a rush, so I had to read it, read it out and see what it says. All right. And when you think of the Vikings, what do you think of? I think purple and gold, you know? My friend over there. You know, it's, 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 it's an honor, you know, to be a part of the Vikings, you know, and part of Adrian Peterson and, and all those great players they have there. Who, 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 talk about, talk about uh, what attributes do you bring to the passing game, especially with them with the Vikings and the Percy Harvard? You know, I feel like I bring a lot at the passing game, you know. Going, I'm trying to go in every day, work hard, and be a better player than I was in college. Learn from those older guys, and I expect to be a starter when I get out there. Process of getting ready for the draft. I mean, there's a lot said about every single player. There's a lot said about you. How did you digest that all? Oh, it was it was a long process. It was stressful, you know. Like sitting up there, and I didn't think I was gonna hear my name called, but you know, I suddenly the My family told me the patience is the key to success, and just wait on your time. And that's what I did. Now, now I'm here. Can you imagine three years ago when you were just starting off junior <laughs> college? I really can't imagine that, you know. Being, being in the gym college, being so far away from home, I never see myself in the NFL, but all my family didn't believe me. They told me, you know, never give up. You just be patient. They tell me that all the time, and now I'm here. <laughs> With the Vikings trading back into the first round to get you, seeing them invest three first round picks after making the playoffs, does that get you excited for the season that they're disinvested? In next year? Oh yeah, it's great. It's, it feels good. Cause I feel like, well, I ain't gonna say that, but it's it's a good feeling because they they traded they traded to get me, and they uh, the receiver coach he, he told me like a couple days ago he believed in me and he gonna get me. But when they, they pick came, they first pick came, I was like, what's going on? He told me this. Then another pick came, I'm like, okay now, it's, it's getting a little crazy, so now I'm walking out the bathroom, I got a call. <laughs> that was on the phone, but I was so happy. <laughs> How'd the phone call go? Uh, How'd the phone call go? It was good, you know, he was like, I told you, I told you I believe in you, you know, and I wanted to tell him, coach, what took you so long to come get me? <laughs> he had me in my family really a little bit, but he, I believed in him, you know, he believed in me, and I respect him for that. Are you excited to work with Christian Ponder, Kyle Rudolph, Adrian Peterson, this really young nucleus of offensive players? Yeah, you know, I watched him die. Cal, I trained with him before in California. I ain't really trained with him. He was training, and I was beside him a little bit. So, and I, I met Adrian Peterson last night. It, it's it's kind of crazy, but I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm happy. It was it was felt weird, you know. I walked up to him like, "Is this really Adrian Peterson?" I'm like standing right in front of his face. I shook his hand. And I just walked up and shook my head because I couldn't believe it. Are you looking forward to it? Now I'm going to be playing with him. I got a text message. This girl was like, tell my husband, Adrian Peterson. And I said, hey. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's a challenge, you know, but I went to Tennessee and I didn't expect I was going to do the things I did at Tennessee because I only had five months to learn the offense and get, and get ready for the season to start. But I went in, I think the coach and the players were helping me in that little short period of time I, I, that I had and they got me to where I'm at now. Yeah, I have I have like my whole family and I got my best friend up here. It's been great, you know, they every time I would come around them, they always have a smile on their face. They just happy to be out of Rock Hill, South Carolina and, and touring the world. What are teams gonna get when they get a title right? Uh, you know, working with Tyler, man, he's a great guy. You know, some people, they don't believe in Tyler because the issues he had, but oh, the time I was there, he, he was a changed guy, you know. He was, he was more humble than he was 
when he, when I first got there, I heard a lot of negative things about him. And I sat down and talked to him like, man, I'm hearing this about you, but I know you're a better person than that. And he told me like, yeah, I know it's time for me to change, but I'm trying to change my life around. And he did that. When do you leave for Minnesota? I think tomorrow. Okay. You, have you ever been there before? Any impressions of the city and the people? Uh, I've been there. I went on a visit there. So. Yeah. What, what were your thoughts? When did you go? Was like, was it hot summer, cold it winter? Was, it was cold. It's, uh oh. It's different out there. It's Are you just, ready for that weather? I'm ready because I went to Kansas for two years and that, that, that weather was miserable. Yeah. So I'm ready for it. I already got my coats and everything. Anything else? Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And in Miller, they do get a guy who's comfortable with press coverage.